that time, Grotowski did not speak English, uh, or said he didn't, because he had to transfer his, his talk to the person that was with, that, that helped him come with both of us. And so we were talking back and forth with each other as to what uh, Krotowski was wanted to do. And it basically said he wanted to come out and go to maybe five or six colleges in California and see what they would be like. And I said, absolutely, come on right to our place. You come to our place first, and then we'll get you some other colleges to go to. And that's all that happened. He came out. By the time he came out, he did speak English, uh, kind of roughly, but he did it. And I just fell in love with him, and I think he fell in love with me because we <laughs> had just a wonderful time uh, in the two or three days together. And he said, and at the end, he said, "Well, I'm going to come back after I do the other." Uh, groups that I'm going to be talking to, and which he did. He give, gave the two or three lectures to us at UCI, then he went to at UC Berkeley, UC Los Angeles, UC everywhere else, and then he came back to my place, and he had three or four people. He said, these are my fine professors that I've been working with. Turned out he had only met with them yesterday. <laughs> so there were just people that he grabbed to come with him and pretend that they were following him. But uh, and I believed in them, uh, <laughs> and uh, we really had a, he said, well, I want to go out and I want to find a good place where we can have a, a, a performance. We can to, uh, have a place to have our teaching acting. And uh, I said, well, where do you want to go? And he said, well, let's go, to, we'll come to your house and we'll have a party. So we came to his house and brought these other people with him and talked about the party. He said, well, I, I want to go out to uh, this place that's 30 miles away that I think would be great. And I said, okay, that's fine. We'll go tomorrow afternoon. He said, no, no, I don't want to go tomorrow afternoon. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I want to go now. Now? 2 o'clock in the morning? They find out a good place to have interviews? Uh, yeah, I really do. I, well, we can't do that. Lorna, Lorna, my wife, she had already gone to her bedroom. But what I found out later was that she was with her ear on the wall, <laughs> listening to everything that was being said uh, from the other side. And uh, finally, uh, I, I just kept on saying, no, I can't go. I'm too, too late. He said, OK, well, I won't go. And I said, OK, let's go. <laughs> but we didn't. Then he said, no, 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 we, we, we don't have to go. But it worked. And he came out, and he worked with us for three years. And he stayed there forever and for three years and he, uh, we got him a house uh, in the area where I lived and we had dinner at least once a month and I was working with him at his, well we had this, we, first thing we did was create out of that barn that was an actual barn, we took out all of all the things that were in the barn including the, the second floor, that was gone too, it was just one big farm wall, a uh, building and it was a perfect one for teaching. And he was the one who taught. He had the complete control for it. And he would, and as far as the students were concerned, um, they would say, he would say, well, uh, I can't tell you when you're going to go to college, but I'm going to bring you to college uh, if you're, uh, 10 o'clock in the night. And then you'll be in the, in the college with me until 10 o'clock the next morning. I'm serious. And I didn't know how that would work, but it did work. And people were doing it. I did it once. I did a midnight to morning. Uh, and it was phenomenal. He, he had two or three professional theater people, uh, mainly from hmm? Haiti? Ha Haiti, yes. Uh, far, foreign countries. Uh, not big ones, small ones. Uh, but he knew them, they knew him, and they were the ones who physically and spiritually gave the, t the tests to the students, uh, where Yerji was in the corner writing his things and telling them what to do. And it was three years of really wonderful theater. Uh, he came to see theater plays. He went to see one of my wife's plays. She had only written one play in her entire life. It's the only play she, he, she ever he ever saw in the, in. 
California, uh, I think in, yeah, in California, and he said it was wonderful. So she was thrilled beyond all measure. And, uh, but then after the third year, um, he, he knew he was dying. He had, uh, he had injuries that he knew were de deathly, and he would occasionally go to uh, Europe to have them treated and then comes back. And on, after his third year, he went to Europe and stayed for the last six years, I think, in Indi Italy, northern Italy, uh, in a theater place. And then he died, and uh, we gave him a wonderful finality. And we've kept his workplace barn uh, right, right up to this point, and we use it all the time. I would like to ask you something. Uh, you were the first American director to have staged Samuel Beckett in oh, yes. the States. How did that. you discover him? Oh, because at that time information was far less accessible than it is today. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to laugh a little bit here. Uh, I, was, uh, I was in high school. And I was in high school, uh, junior area. I was about to go to my junior high, and uh, I saw the somebody uh, teacher. The teacher there in twelfth grade, uh, at the end of her, t she had seven. Uh, he had, she had ten minutes after her class had ended her. Thing, but she still had 10 moments to talk. She said, I want to talk to you about a play, and she'd never done this before, a play that's in, a, I, in New York right now, uh, and had been in a newspaper and a, and a magazine uh, in downtown Washington, uh, which had a, her, the play that, she had written, that he had written. And I was fascinated by what she was saying. Uh, nobody else was. And I got, instead of going home after the meeting, I went down to the, got in a bus and went down to the bookstore downtown and got the play, which was uh, taken, uh, I can't remember the title of it now. Waiting for Godot. Waiting for Godot, thank you. And, uh, and I read it while I was driving back on the bus, and I was fascinated, and I wrote, wrote it, I read it again while I was driving the bus. And then uh, I was, giving it to people, and they didn't seem to care for it, but I did. And uh, when I was in, uh, it, it, it crossed, I crossed the road, I'd gone into a college, and I had them, um, I said, I'm going to direct the play uh, and see if anybody likes it, because nobody really had heard of it at that time. And I did, and they, I got four people to act in it, and I acted in the fifth row. First, because I only get four people to act for it, and uh, it was a big success. And then uh, one of the persons came, came out. This is just in college. In college, and if one of the persons who had just graduated from the college came out and said to me, "I'd like to do this in San Francisco City." And uh, I say, "Well, where? When?" He said, I said, "Well, I have a." A theater in San Francisco in one area that's kind of a nice part of town and I have a complete month while I own it but I'm not going to have anything to do with it. Will you do it and put this play on for a month? And I said sure, <laughs> darn right I will. And I, I, one of the main actors in the play uh, was getting married so he couldn't do it so I did that play too, that part. And so we did that part in San Francisco for one full month. And it had wonderful reviews from all, and this is not from schools, this is out from real people. And it was a wonderful success. It got four reviews in four major theater uh, magazines in New York, I mean in, in San Francisco. And uh, it just made, it made that play and it made that author into a very famous person. Uh, and a lot of people didn't like what he wrote because it's very w weird. At least it was particularly weird in that period of time. But it sure <coughs> has stayed on for many, many decades to go. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. Anything else? If there are any other questions, please. Yes. I will uh, ask about that. Thank you. Um, I wanted to, to ask you because you have seen um, 
the stagings of your place here in the National Theatre. Yes. Um, how you feel about uh, the differences um, in the the way your um, yeah. your texts were staged here and in the United States? Oh, I feel well. Of course, I don't direct the plays that I do here. The, the, the three plays that have done of mine, I've written the plays and I come to see the plays, and I think they're they're. Very, very good. I, the, the best one, I think, is Machiavelli. And it's a major play that's done in the big theater. And um, it, I, I thought it was a really fine play. It got some very good reviews and so forth. They're the two modest plays. They were in the other smaller theater. And they, they were, in fact, more my kind of plays than Beckett, the other one, was. And so I enjoyed it very much, and they got very good reviews uh, from the audiences. And I don't see a lot of things coming from new, the newspapers from this area because I'm gone by the time that they publish them. Uh, but I think it's very, very nice to have it. And uh, but I haven't written another play. I I, I wrote uh, I wrote about seven, eight plays. I was not primarily a play writer, but a play director. And those uh, theaters are still active in various parts of my country, in many cases. Uh, actually, I, I want to add that we reviewed uh, We reviewed one of your plays. Um, uh, a woman, one of our writers who normally covers Netherlands, came to the festival, mm -hmm. and um, she reviewed it. And there's a photograph of the show. And I, what I'll do, Anka, is I didn't realize I wasn't thinking. I, I'll send you a PDF of that review. Oh, thank you. But what I want to ask you about in respect to that is, um, what do you think about the fact that it was produced with rabbit costumes? With rabbit costumes? Yes. Well, it wasn't in, when I directed it. No, but when it was done here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone was in well, rabbit costumes. Well, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty funny and pretty fa fascinating. Uh, no, I didn't. To me, it was a more realistic uh -huh. play. Um, but then again, the, the director of the play really had his own ideas about it, and I was completely behind them. I said, look, I mean, I've done my side of it. Let's see what you can do out of it and see if you can make it better, make it not so good. And it made it well, I think. Every, the, certainly the audience, I only saw the play once, and the audience was very charming and uh, excited and standing up and everything that I wanted it to be.